Oh, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Yep, you read that right. It is 100 degrees at a little after three in the afternoon on a Tuesday. We just recently got back from St. Charles, Illinois for Victoria and Sam's wedding. Now, the next thing at hand is I've got a pretty big ride this, come, this coming weekend. In about four and a half days, I got the Tour de Bernie coming up. And once again, once again, I haven't gotten any long rides in. I've just been doing anywhere from 20 to 35. So I'm going to do a couple more rides before this weekend and hopefully it'll be enough for me to not have a meltdown like I did last year. Okay? Let's not let's hope that doesn't happen. But the problem with this is it's 100 degrees and it's only going to get hotter. It's supposed to get up to 105 today by 5 o'clock. I'm going to try to do a 30 mile ride. But with this heat, I've hydrated quite a bit. I've got bottles on the bike. So I'm gonna try to do as many miles as I can, but I don't wanna overdo it and, and you know have a heat stroke or something. So I'm just gonna play it by ear, see how my body feels, and then whatever the miles are, that's what they are. So let's get out and ride in this heat. It's gonna be hot on Saturday, so I guess I gotta get used to it. Let's go ride. It's a scorcher out here. You know, when we were up in uh, St. Charles, Illinois for the wedding, at night and in the mornings, it was in the 50s. And in the afternoons, it was in the 60s to 70s. It was pretty nice. I think they even, I talked to a guy at a bike shop there. He said they were, that was unusual for this time of year, but it's pretty good. Now we're back in the heat, but you know what? I love the heat. So I like to sweat. And I think I'll be doing a lot of that today. So let's go sweat. That parking lot is packed. Not today though. I guess when it gets over 100 degrees, people don't come out to the trail. Except for me. Another empty, another empty parking lot. Holy shit, this is brutal. I'm about 11 and a half miles into this ride. Oh my God, look at this. Watch. Uh, that's just from the, the cushion of my helmet. All right, I'm turning around. This is crazy. Uh, Oh man. I think I bit off more than I can chew today. It is brutal. I don't know if you can see that. It's 103 right now. I still got about nine miles left. I think I'm just gonna rest here for a little bit. Slowly make my way back. Holy shit. All right, I'm gonna see if I can make it back the next nine miles without stopping. Oh. Cross your fingers. Well, I made it about 
I think three more miles. <clears throat> but I had to stop again. I think I got about five miles. I got about five miles left. Rest for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get one final push and get back to the truck. This was a big mistake. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. There's been so many times where I've ridden in heat like this, but for some reason today, it's it's really getting to me. All right, let's go. I finally made it back. Oh my God. That was the hardest 23 miles I think I've ever done. I'm kind of seeing flashes right now, like bright flashes. Holy crap. I guess you know I need to <clears throat> I need to show all the Ah, <sighs> oh, my ears are popping. If I'm gonna show you the good times, I need to show you the bad times. Oh, I still feel like I'm gonna pass that. Eh? This has me really really worried about Tour de Bernie this weekend. And yeah, it was the heat, but I got to the point where I couldn't even hold my head up. My muscles in my neck, you know, I've heard of Shermer's neck, but those guys get Shermer's neck after they've been riding for thousands of miles, not just a 20 mile ride. I couldn't, I could hardly lift my head. I started getting a little bit of cramps in my ribs and my sides. I'm getting a cramp right now. Ah. Okay. Well, I'm done with this ride. Ah. I'm gonna go home. I need to stop getting something to drink. Ah. I'm here in Bernie to pick up my packet for the tour to Bernie, which is happening tomorrow. I should probably talk about <laughs> what happened to me the other day when I was riding. That was not a good situation for me to be in. Um, what I think what really happened was earlier that day, and I didn't figure this out until later on that night because I felt terrible that whole night and most of the next day my stomach was upset most of the next day I kind of had a headache I mean I was probably on the verge of heat exhaustion I don't know if I was bad enough where I'd end up in the hospital or anything but that just was not good but earlier that day I was working outside quite a bit and I was sweating a lot and I thought I was hydrating enough and uh, I think at that point when I got to the trail to ride, I was already behind the eight ball when it came to hydration. And then once I started riding, I was just profusely 
sweating even though I had bottles with me and I mean it was 103 and the heat index was like 115 16 17 I don't know it was pretty it was pretty hot you know I kind of pride myself too at, at dealing with situations like that because in the past I've always you know done heat runs and, and and ridden in really hot temperatures but for some reason it really affected me that day and I think it was because I was working out in the sun earlier that day and sweating a lot and just wasn't hydrating enough to um, to do that ride and I don't know what was going on with my neck I couldn't hold my head up partly it was weird that's why it's got me a little worried about doing the uh, the ride tomorrow I keep saying it's a 65 mile ride it's a 62 mile ride hopefully I'll feel okay because I want to redeem myself from last year's ride from uh, you know just leg cramps and all that stuff and I've purchased a ton of different things I'm bringing with me tomorrow salt stick tablets I've got goose I've got uh, bars I've got all kinds of things I'm, I've got uh, hydration liquid hydration all that kind of stuff plus there's there's plenty of um, uh, aid stations along the way so anyway let's go in and get my packet so we can ride tomorrow in the heat let's go like right now it's almost 100 degrees it's about 3 30 in the afternoon so it's gonna be hot tomorrow even though we're starting in the morning but let's get that package and get ready to ride tomorrow see I already have my bike ready loaded up ready to go let's go this year's packet pickup is at the Yee Kindle Inn it's like an old hotel that's been in Bernie since I guess since the city was founded man I should probably not wear black on a hot day like this holy crap note to self no black clothes on a hot day in South Texas what was I thinking Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. We're set. All right. I guess that's it. I'm going to end this video. This is going to be a fairly short video. Just me melting down on my ride and then doing my packet pickup. The next video will be of the actual race. And hopefully I won't have the issue I had at the Latap where I lost my damn camera. I'm not going to lose this camera. I'm holding on to it. So, see you at the race tomorrow. Wish me luck. Hopefully I won't melt down and uh, it'll be a good ride. If you like the video, give it a like. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. I answer all my comments. And until next time, go out and get fit. See you.